Viewer discretion is advised. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The guy threatened to kill her a couple times, forced her up the stairs. He uh, grabbed her by the throat. Yeah. Okay. Just Stop or I'll kill you. Okay, no. just, just tell me. Me! Get out! Hey, 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 hey. Relax, relax, okay? We, we're here to help you, okay? Good for you! We're here to help you. Come on. All right, it's no need to be talking like that, okay? Good. Have a seat there. Have a seat. Good. Talk to yourself. Have a seat. Have a seat. No. Have a seat. Come on. Hey, Joy. Joy, just stay in here. Your boyfriend wants you to stay in here, okay? All right? You can't go. Listen. Listen. No. Yeah. Listen. I don't want to go. She's under arrest. Not me. Go! Listen. Just take it easy. Oh! Go Bitches. Sleep it yep. You're under arrest. You're under arrest for being drunk in a public place and for causing a disturbance. Put her down. Yeah. Are you behind me, Nick? No, I'm not. Yeah. Let's. Might as well carry her. Here. I'll take her. Don't start kicking. Don't start kicking, okay? It's only gonna make it worse, all right? Just calm down, okay? No. Let me go! Calm down. Do you wanna take the boots off? Let me go! Let me go, you f***ing bitches! Take them off. Yeah. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Right. Maybe better if it's face down. Flip her around. All calm down. All calm down. No, listen, listen, oh, listen. Oh, oh, she's already under arrest, okay? We're gonna bring her back to the office and she's gonna sober up, all right? She's got a big time problem and she's gonna have to deal with it. Okay. No! Just walk. Oh, like I can, you bitch. Well, if you want us to turn you around, we'll turn you around so you can walk. All right? Oh. Come on. If you want to walk, you can walk. They barged in, and the girl was really drunk, and she fell she... into the fish tank. Our salamander was in there. Are the animals OK? Well, the one no, animal... two fish are dead. Well, the fish There's are one squashed. Half of the fish there, but... I got, okay. the, I got the salamander. All right. He basically threw her into the fish tank. Yeah, he threw her in. They went downstairs. We went out of the balcony. We looked inside, and he was punching her. He was kicking her. He, he she was, was fighting back, obviously. Well, he was, too. he was kicking he her was kicking right her. down she, the stairs. He was doing everything to her. I mean, he, was, he physically threw her right down the stairs. And then our friend across the hall, they pushed him right through the window. He said, there's kids, like all kids who are in the in the, all the different apartments. He goes, there's kids here, please calm down. And he threw him through the glass. He and threw his him arm right, went yeah. right through the glass and he cut his arm and everything. Mm -hmm. So they went totally out of control, both of them. What we're doing right now is uh, we've obtained sufficient evidence to go back and arrest the common law boyfriend or husband, whatever you want to call him for assault and uttering threats. As a result of information obtained, all right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to arrest you. Don't run away from me. You can just stab your back to me, but I'm gonna inform you that you're under arrest for assault and you're under arrest for uttering threats, okay? Do you understand that? Yep. You have against, the right? Against? Against Joy. How much have you had to drink tonight? <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah? Okay, what are you drinking? I, Beer I or hard drunk. stuff? Uh, I had tequila and a couple beers. Okay, good enough. Just slide in there, watch your head when you're getting in. There's a uh, geo entry regarding uh, meth trafficking. We're just gonna help them with the uh, traffic stop. Where's your needle? It's right in this pocket. It's in that pocket? Yeah. Okay, just okay. take your hand away. Okay, sure. Is it? Capped or uncapped? It, it's, it's capped, if you want me to get it out. Uh, no, it's all right. Feel a lot Don't reach more for it. Comfortable about it. 
There you go. Okay. Anything else on you? And we went to pull him over in the alley. The passenger, he just kept driving like he was yeah. pretending he was stupid. And um, the passenger was leaned forward doing something okay. for quite a while. So whatever the, pa it may have been that the passenger was hiding something on that side somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what are you trying to hide in the popcorn, dude? Baggy. What do you got there? A baggie of popcorn. He doesn't have a license. You don't have a license. There's drugs in the vehicle, scales, all kinds of stuff, right? So I think that, you know, when I said you were doing something nefarious, well, drug trafficking potentially, is that maybe it? Not anymore. Not anymore? Nope. What's the dope for then? What dope? The dope that we found in the car. That, that out there was mine. I, that's mine. I, that's yours? I use, yeah. What about the scale? Scale, I don't have no idea. Do you have anything about know anything about the scale? Looking what do you keep me. looking at him for, yeah, man? I don't know. I, like, you don't know how the scale got in there? I didn't know where the scale in there. You had that in your pocket, my friend. What is it? <laughs> I'm betting that it's uh, crystal meth. You had that in your pocket, so. It's not mine. I just grabbed it off the thing. Well, I tell I was... the judge. Okay. Why should I tell I'm the not going to make Sir, a decision on what is, your intent was. Right being here wrongly put on me here. I'm... <sighs> we got four police officers. I understand that, and I did pick it up, but I didn't know. You know. I you're trying to tell me that wasn't on your person. No, I said. I said I did pick it up. I'm just trying to get everything together. I don't need another drug charge. I didn't see my drugs. Okay. Please. Well, maybe you need to change the people that you hang out with then. Maybe, but just Okay, well, that's part of the decision you have to make. Hey, this is bullshit. I'm not, I'm not going down for this. Hey, get over here and tell them what's up. I did it. No, right now, man. I did, I did. I'm getting arrested for somebody else's shit. <laughs> I did. I, did. I, I don't know what Why is he in handcuffs? Why, why is he being arrested? Why is he in handcuffs? Because he had dope on his person and all drug paraphernalia. So Come on, what? stand on the sidewalk. It's illegal to have drugs on your person. What kind? Uh, rock cocaine. Bullshit. No, that's a lie. It's not a lie. We that's don't I'm not going to argue that with you. Are you your girlfriend, sister, what are you? Huh? What are you to him? Girlfriend? Okay. That's why trying I to figure out. Why? Okay. Just trying to figure out who you are, why you're coming up talking to him while we're talking to him. He doesn't smoke a lot. Okay. Regardless, he had it on him, okay? No, he did not. You're lying. Are you going to continue to creep across the street here? I don't hear what he's saying, okay? It's everywhere. Yeah, but you've been asked by the police to stand I away from him. I don't care. I've seen the police do lots of nasty things, dude. Well, so we're doing nasty I'm things right now. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying, okay? Can I stand over there? No. I can't hear what he's saying. You're not, doesn't need, you don't need to be yeah, hearing what he's saying. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I do. Because I've seen you guys before when I wasn't around. Okay? So you, I know you've what you guys seen it, You've do. seen us before when you weren't around. He sat there and, there and and was adamant saying that it wasn't my drugs, it's not my drugs. I just picked it up and accidentally put it in my pocket. We have to just go with the evidence we find. So she's bullshitted to me then? Well, I don't know if she's bullshitted or you're bullshitting. I'm not bullshitting. What, what? I'm not bullshitting, man. I'm telling you right now, I'm not bullshitting. <laughs> Honest to God, I wouldn't have stopped to help this guy out if I was bullshitting. Saw a vehicle, ran the license plate number, and it came back as being expired, so there's no insurance on the car. The fellow claimed to have no ID provided a name and date of birth when we read on the computer we couldn't get anything on it no criminal record no warrants no driver's license no information at all in searching the vehicle there was a piece of paper with a different name ran that name and uh, it does come back with some history you're under arrest for obstruction and no insurance what else am i under arrest for isn't that enough no, it isn't, because, uh, see what happens every time i get my name you no if you had around. given your real name in the first place you wouldn't be under arrest and every time i do i get punched out man you don't understand what i've gone through in my entire life of living with you guys did it look like i was going to punch you out yes it is so uh what's the charge obstruction really like possession of stolen property possession and no stolen insurance property yeah what's the possession of stolen property the tag on your license plate stolen jump no, in well i just bought the car the registration's in your hand sir jump in oh, oh my god you're looking for anything you're a f you know that you're a f yeah. Think about it. You're picking your nose, thinking about anything you can get on me, man. Give your head a shake. I mean, hey, man. Can I, you know, think about what you're doing, buddy. You're incredible. And I don't care if I don't get out by eight or ten. Or that's okay. You know, you're a goof. That's all I know. Biggest goof I ever met in the RCMP force, man. I actually, I've always respected you guys, man. In the last five or six years, there's always dumb like you never fails for obstruction you're looking for anything anything to get somebody they're trying to stay straight 
because that's how sick you are. I can tell how hard you've been trying to stay straight. I've been trying pretty hard, buddy. I, take a look at my record. I've been in, in trouble all my life. In the last eight years, I've done nothing wrong. Exactly. And every time I gave my name, sir, and I get punched out. I got no teeth because of you guys, man. No teeth at all. Okay, that's why I lied. Well, in 11 years, I've never seen anyone get punched out and get oh, their teeth man. knocked out. Well, you, oh, I've got punched out, man. You don't know me because you don't know my, obviously, you don't know my reputation, sir. Well, that must be a reflection of your uh, demeanor as opposed to anything I else. Must have been. I agree with you, Cole. No wonder everybody's Can we go so I can get this done, please? Your car will be towed to Coastline Towing. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. fine where it is. It's perfectly legal. And don't Sorry from, or info there. from Bravo My 10. Can I uh, no, 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 get no. coastline to this location? Hey, well, Gregory will be waiting. Gross Creek Motel. Hey, you part my fucking, what, what's the fucking, what do you mean? It's perfectly legal where it is, man. They already said it was. Ask him. Hello? Hello, you fucker. Oh, you're a fucking man. You're a real fucking fucker. Look at you, eh? You're a fucking goof. You piece of fucking shit. The car is perfectly legal there, buddy. You be paying for the toll bill with my lawyer's seat, not me. That's but fine. I have a room here, buddy. <laughs> you fucking tow my car away. Hey, I have a room monthly here, bud. A real mouthpiece here, Dale. Oh, I'm not a mouth person. I'm just... I'm no, a mouth person? I'm not a mouthy person, I just said. Oh. I just uh, lied about my name and uh, you can Are you lying to the police? Yes, sir. People don't normally do that. Well, no, but usually when they get their f***ing heads kicked in, they do. Keep your mouth shut. Don't have to swear. Oh, okay. Well, usually when they get their heads kicked in, they, they don't, you know, because I had a bad reputation when I was a kid, right? Oh. Well, there you go. Well, and that's why I lied about my name. He'll probably be released from here within a few hours on a promise to appear uh, to attend court at a later date, about two months down the road. I don't get a blanket. The staff just called and reported that this fellow's gained violent with them and want the police to attend, uh, presumably to remove him. Hey, Hi. Hey. What's the problem? I'm just going home. I want to go outside for a smoke. They won't even let me go out for a smoke. All I want is a couple drags of smoke. Anybody wants to try to stop me? Start swinging. Okay. Well, hang on. We don't want to start, start swinging. swinging. We don't want to start swinging. Oh, well, okay. hang on. You want to come out for a smoke with me? Well, Let's before go. we go to anywhere, why don't I find out what's been happening here, okay? Why don't you okay, give me two why seconds? Why don't you send her with me? Okay. I won't hook her. Well, how about you just wait here with me for a second? No? I just want to smoke. Okay. I just want to relax for a couple minutes. Like, you know, I come here and then everybody's pushing me and, you know, let me, let me. stab myself. Why'd you do that? Go. It's a bad day. I've been asking for help for months. Okay. The doctor said he doesn't have a problem with you going outside to have a smoke. His only concern is that you're, you're going to take off. Well, and uh, obviously you need to be stitched up. So you're not going to take off, eh? Got some smokes I on you? I just want to smoke. Okay, got some smokes? You got light? No. We've just been called back to uh, Sir Memorial Hospital. The fellow that we were dealing with a short time ago there, I guess, is uh, acting up. Sounds like uh, he's in the midst of a fight right now with uh, two of our members. Just relax, people. You relax, I will. Let me know what she's doing. Well, let me see. Let me see. Relax. I'm not going to do that. Let me see. Can you let me see, please? When he learned that he wasn't going to be released, he uh, lost control and the fight was on. At one point, he was grabbing for uh, Constable Larkin's gun and uh, another time he was grabbing for the uh, scissors and needles on the suture tray. And I guess the fight went on for uh, quite a while. He was uh, totally out of control. And uh, once he was handcuffed, he was sedated and uh, we had to stand by for a while until he uh, passed out. Right now we're going to a uh, family dispute. Report is that a uh, intoxicated male is in the residence throwing around his uh, common-law wife. Let's see your hands. No. What's wrong with you? Let's see your hands. I'm not having a beer. Yeah, her beer. Don't worry about your beer. No. no what's going on here? Why don't you go check his life? Huh? Excuse me, why don't you check his life? No way. Easy, son. Relax. Do you have any needles? I got nothing. Knives? No, I'm not like that. Rocket launchers? No, nothing. Nothing like that? No. Hey. 
What the f is going on here? Please tell me. Okay, we will. No. Okay. Okay. Is this the gentleman? Yeah, there's some damage in the house where he knocks himself over and then he. What did he do? What he do? What'd you do? I didn't do nothing. Okay. My name was throwing chairs at him. I just tried to stop him. You, you have a condition not to be here? No. We were told that you were in there throwing her around. Mm. Like a little rag doll. Doesn't matter if she invited you or not. Do you understand that? No, I don't understand that. Come on. Come on. Look at the address. It's not the address. Oh, the it's address. the person. It's the person. Oh, one, 12, six. Yeah, yeah the office the is person, in contact man. with Marlene. But I tried to bring that up in court, and she yeah. tried to go throw it out. Doesn't change they anything. They throw us out. If it's in the computer, it's you get breached. It's on the no, system. but I mean, that address they got on there, it's my sister. Okay, well, the address doesn't matter. We're not talking about the address. We're talking about Marlene. Well, that's what they're trying to change. Don't and Marlene care. jumped up. Don't care about she the address. She wanted to cancel this. Don't care about the address. You have a no I'm contact telling with you Marlene. So. so how did you get the no contact in the first place? This is, let's go that okay. route. Okay. Okay. You tell me from the, the make sure the short and sweet, because I want the short and condensed oh, yeah. version of that it. That was the address right there? Yep. On 1206. Yep. Where mm -hmm. it downstairs? Yep. We had a scuffle. I couldn't hardly walk. She pushed me. I pushed her back. Right. Her friend called the cops. Mm hmm Alvina. Yep. The cops come. Well, this happened in the morning. And the cops come at night, 11 o'clock at night. I'm okay. going to bed. Yep. You don't arrest me. What? OK. 11 o'clock at night. This happened this morning, the officer. Yep. You're still under arrest. Okay. I said, okay, I'll go in. No right. problem. Good. Good. I went in. Yep. They let me out. Mm hmm I went to court. Mm hmm Charges were withdrawn. Right. But I don't understand this. If it was withdrawn, mm -hmm. how come I got one day probation? Couldn't tell you. My nephew, Carmen. Yeah. Carmen just lives down here. I now. know who Carmen is. Okay. He He's said, got all the tattoos yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. He said, can you please help this woman here to stop crying? I said, why? What's wrong with her? She's crying over you all day. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Just get over here. Yeah. I said, no, unless I hear it from her. Okay. okay. Now he passed her the phone. She said, get your ass home right now. Yep. So I can. Well, I, I got to get going here. How old are you? I am 32 years old. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Here, instead of instead of the story, how about you you look after her? Hey, Mark. Can you ever do that? She's uh, she's fallen. <laughs> she can't get back up. All right. Oh jeez. No. We're gonna be on TV because of this. All right. Good man. There we go. Yeah. There you go. That's all right. We've got Norman who's been drinking and he has no contact with uh, one of the females in the residence. He's got no contact as well as uh, not to be uh, consuming alcohol. As we can see by the interview with him, he has been consuming uh, a lot of alcohol this evening or this afternoon, and as well as the rest of the occupants in the house. She's intoxicated. The other male is intoxicated as well. They started to argue and it erupted from there. She can hardly stand up on her own, and I don't think he can really be throwing her around but uh, the call came in that uh, he was throwing her about, and so we, we showed up. He's leaving with us. She's staying here and hopefully sobering up for the evening and won't be consuming any more alcohol. And so hopefully we won't have any more problems here tonight. We're going to a call where some citizen has phoned in about a male that's walking down the street with a large sword under his coat. Okay, do you understand what's going on here? Uh, could you tell me? Yeah, you're under arrest for possession of offensive weapon. So do you want to tell me why you had that sword? Well, because about six of the bouncers at this club were trying to beat shit out of my brother. Okay, when was that? Uh, about half an hour ago. Okay. So were you here when that happened? Yes, I was. So where did you go to get the sword? My truck. Okay. So... Let me see if I got this straight. The bouncers are hassling your brother, and of course you want to stick up for your brother, so you go out to your truck to grab the sword, and you're about to go back and show the bouncers who's really the man here, and you end up getting caught first. No, no. Is that it? They came out and chased us, and, well, I grabbed my sword to, like, scare them off. Okay. They took off, obviously, because they're not around right now. Okay. So where's your brother? Actually, 
When you guys call me right now, I was looking for him. When he was picked up, he had this tucked up his back of his jacket in a manner where he could just pretty much grab it really quick and pull it out. So yeah, we'll be taking him and we'll be taking this.